Hi everyone, Michelle here from The Creative Cove. Thanks for joining me today. I thought today we'd do a fun little cutout project using up some scraps or some random papers you might have kicking around. Um, I was playing last night with some designs uh, using my coffee dyed paper and uh, some scrap pieces and cutting them up to make uh, little images here. So I did a bird last night, a flower, and I also did some uh, butterflies for my journal, which I thought was kind of cute. So I thought I'd show you uh, how I did these. Uh, so today we're gonna work on some coffee dyed paper again, which is my go-to. And uh, I had this little booklet that I made uh, with some scraps, it was just uh, one of these um, file folders, green file folders. And what's nice is they have these built-in ridges, these folds already built in. So you just kind of give yourself a little gusset here. And, uh, and then I just took some scrap coffee paper and cut it up, folded it in half and tied some uh, embroidering thread through it, punched some holes and tied it off. So I have this little book. So I thought I might do a uh, cover for it using one of those butterflies. So as you can see, I don't cut anything straight. <laughs> it's just, straight's okay, but sometimes it's necessary and sometimes it's fun just to not stress about it and, and be a little wonky. And uh, that's usually how, how my stuff works. Um, so I thought it's, I've got this coffee dyed paper here, which is a bit lighter. I thought I might add some vellum to it on top of it as well. Just, um, this is coffee dyed vellum and I'm just, I love the texture of it. I love the crinkle. So I thought it might stand out. The butterfly might stand out a little more if I use the music note paper or I have this Japanese scrap paper and I can't decide. But anyways, let's, uh, let's cut out some of this um, vellum here. So I'm just gonna line it up as best I can and I give it a little haircut, hope for the best. But you can measure all this out if you're, uh, if you like those perfect lines. No, there's no wrong or right here, whatever you're comfortable doing. So let's see if that's straight enough. Yeah, that works for me. Okay. So I think I'll glue those two together. Did I bring my glues out? This is this cheapy, ooh, that's empty. Cheapy purple glue. Yeah, here's another one. So I want to uh, just throw some on. And I like this cheap purple glue because it shows up where it's wet and then it disappears, which is nice. So nothing straight. There we go. Maybe a little bit more glue. Vellum's pretty thick, so this glue may or may not hold. I'm not sure. If it doesn't, I'll break out the, the serious glue. You can always sew around these edges as well if you like to sew add it even more texture to it. There we go, good enough. All right. So the next thing I wanna do is, I got this little stamp. It came with the backing. I'm not sure where I got it from. I got it from Amazon and it is Inky, Inka, Inkadu. <laughs> That's it there. Anyways, I got that off Amazon and I pulled it off the backing because I like to kind of, I don't want a perfect square stamp when I use it. I just kind of like to use it random and break up the pattern a little. So I'm just gonna use my uh, photo, vintage photo ink and I'm just gonna kind of throw a little bit of texture on there. And that's pretty much it. All right, so that's that. I'm gonna ink the edges before I forget, because I always forget to do that stuff. And then we'll do the butterfly. So let's see what I like better. Do I like the contrast of the white, or do I wanna keep it neutral? I think I like the contrast of the white, so let's give it a go. So what I like to do is accordion fold my paper, just like when you're a kid, um, 
you made snowflakes, you know, you would fold it up and unravel it. So I'm gonna fold it one, two, three, four times. And you'll end up with extra butterfly wings and stuff that you can use for other projects as well. So this is the point where you can kind of draw out the wing if you want, which we'll do today. So I'm just using a um, Le Pen drawing, I guess it's called, from Walmart. And it's just, uh, it's a 0, 0, 0.5, so very, very fine liner. And uh, I'm just gonna fold this over so you can see what I'm doing a bit better. So I'm gonna do the top of the wing. So I'm gonna draw out like this and back. And I'm gonna draw the bottom of the wing. There you go, out like that and up. So I'm gonna cut these out. Make sure I get a couple of them. And you can do this with any shape, dragonfly wings. You can do it as, you, as I showed you with the, the bird. Uh, you can do it with flowers. You can do it with anything you want. And you can create these little fun decorations in your journals with whatever theme you're working on or whatever makes you happy. So I'm just gonna finish cutting this shape out. So that's one. And then I'm gonna restack these guys. And then I'm gonna trim that out. All right, so now I have butterfly wings. And the reason I, I fold it four times is because I know the writing is on the one side, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna wanna reverse it. And there's the, the writing for the other side of the wing. Just make sure these wings fit. So where'd I put my other ones? Oh, there. And reverse it. So I can do this here. You can play with the wings. Put this here. So I think that works, that fits. So I'm gonna do my uh, little body piece. So maybe I'll do that. And do I have something? So here's some writing here. It's a little bit more bold. Let's use that. So I'm gonna give it a little, little tail, a little head. All right. So when I do these, I like to use my ink as well. It's a bit time consuming to rub all the edges, but when you go to glue them down, especially if you're doing an overlay like, like this here where the wing sits in front of another wing, you can see how it picks up the two, it, def it defines two wings with that um, uh, ink on the edges. So it's worth, it's worth doing in my opinion anyways. It really helps the, the piece stand out, unless you're gonna go around with a, a marker after. Um, but this one I think will probably end up keeping just inked. So it's nice to segregate and separate those images, those specific shapes. And where'd the little body go? Here he is. I'll put a little on him too, just so he fits in. And then we're gonna get messy. I don't know if I have enough glue on this one. There's another one. Let's use this. This is also empty. All right. So we will just stick our piece here. Put it where we want it. Little body. Okay, I'm going to run the glue over our pieces. One. I really like the, the look of the uh, contrast of the coffee dyed paper against a, a busy wing pattern. And you can use any paper, really. I mean, you've got some really scrapbook pieces, really pretty scrapbook pages kicking around. or But this is a really good good way to use up scraps which is something I like to use. Which way does this guy go? This way or this way? Which way do I like them? I think I like it this way. There we go. So 
guy on. I'll show you. I'll show you a little side angle too of the butterfly if you like. And then this one here, and you can see how it brings it off the page with that ink to edge. You could sew around the butterfly if you wanted. Put as much effort into it as you like. So I'm just going to give the the butterfly maybe a a little bit of a um, that's too thick. A little bit of uh, antennas here, so and draw up. Give them a swirl. Draw up. A little swirl. And darken in here if you really want the body to show up a bit. Marker's not working. Just kind of scribbling a little bit. And there we go. So let's put him on here. Which I kind of like. So I'll use a little bit stronger glue. This is my three in one, which I love to use. But if you don't use it up, it starts getting really uh, sticky and misbehaves. I think you can add like an acetone nail polish remover to it and it will thin it out. But it's great glue because like two seconds, boom, you're glued. And then I thought maybe we could put a couple of brads in there just to finish it off. So I get my hole punch. Oh, need to clean my desk again. There we go. This one will work. Throw that in there. Again, not too worried about it being perfect or lined up. Too much stress being perfect. And uh, I like the term perfectly imperfect. It applies to me. <laughs> Pull these off. It's about having fun with the process, you know, using up your scraps, being creative, uh, doing something that you like that you can share with others. So I just slide those in. So I push them in, these little brads, and I open them up on the other side. So I'm not casting too much of a shadow. And yes, it's raining again. I don't think we've ever had so much rain in one summer. And I know that so many people are needing rain. It's the strangest thing. And we have forest fires just north of us. So it's like we're getting rain in one spot and then 50 kilometers from here is getting no rain. Mother nature, it's very unpredictable. And there we go, there's a little cover. So it's kind of a cute little idea. And again, you can do anything. You can do little flowers. It's just about cutting these shapes. So let me show you maybe uh, one on the side, on a side profile uh, that I had. Yeah, I've got this little guy here. My, uh, I love using these. They're, again, from Amazon, and they're just little library card inserts. What's great is they are pre-stickered on the back, so awesome. Saves you a lot of time, and you can decorate these in so many different ways. And they're an instant pocket for ephemera, which is great. So you can do little, depending on what kind of journal you're making, you can do little uh, specimen cards in here, little note taking, journal notes. So let's do a butterfly on a side angle. So I'm going to retrace again. Goes out the way. Grab a pen. And then we're going to do a same thing, actually. We're just going to do the same shape, but maybe a little bit more obvious on the up scoop there. And then the bottom wing. There we go. Oh, I hear a saw or something going outside. Cut those out. So you can see you have quite a few wings left because of the the folding that I do but I prefer to have wings and then you can always store these so you can ink them and then just put them in a little baggie and then when you think oh I need to add a butterfly here half the work is done which is great and you can make it you know what it's like when you find a project a new project that you like and then you make like 20 new ephemera pieces to add to your collection all right so, 
These are pretty white against the white. So should we add maybe something else? A little, little piece of coffee paper, warm it up a bit. Just for another decorative element. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? Why not? And just again, just give it a cut. Sure, there's much more professionals out there on YouTube. <laughs> and then there's me. There we go. Let's ink this edge. Yeah, and this would look really pretty with all kinds of different colored pieces, you know, colored scraps. I tend to get drawn to the, the more natural colors. For some reason, I really like um, I really like it simple. So we need one of those. We need two of those actually. Take this one with a little bit more writing on it. Nope, that's the wrong side. This one. So in my uh, quickie sketches video, I show you how to draw a butterfly. So if you're not sure the shape of the wings, you can follow that video along for some ideas on how to cut out these special shapes. Is that the one I need? Yes. Ink the edges, and then we're gonna need another body. So again, in the video, it will show you um, how to draw the little bodies in a scribble. So you're just gonna mimic that shape in a, in a haircut. Somebody's banging away out there. So in this one, it's a little side profile, so he's got a little Little tiny head. And then just this kind of wormy body. This is kind of a funny shape. So let's glue that down. Yeah, I was having fun last night playing with these shapes and thought, what can I do with all these scraps? All these pieces I have kicking around. All right, so there's his body. And then you're gonna put his back wing on. His back wing will go about here. So I'm a little close to the top. I think I'll drag the body down just a little bit before it glues. There we go. And then his front wing. Actually, let's do his bottom wing because that will be tucked behind. So there's his bottom wing. And then his top wing, his front top wing. So it's almost like a little relief, really, on the layering that you're doing. And there is, I'm still not happy with that back wing. Let's see if I can pull that off for a second and reline it. There we go. And then his front wing. There we go. That's better. So essentially you want all the wings to start at the at that point. You don't want a wing up here and a wing down there. They all they all kind of start at the same place. So that's it. That's something you'll see in those quickie sketches and how to draw one. A little little tip like that. So I'm just going to give him a little detail on uh, his antennae, and we can give him a little detail, a little shading and scrubbing in his body, and then we'll give him some legs. If there's not too much glue in the way, a little leg comes out, and a little back leg, glue still wet. So there, another little one. So let's throw some glue on him. Somebody's hammering out there. I don't know what they're doing outside. Building something. There we go. Nice and quick. Throw that in. And we can put it to the back of the book if we like. So we have a little, little pocket. See how easy those are? I love those. So I think I got a pack of a hundred. So there we go. A little ephemera built in the back. And you can keep your little cute little pieces in there. So there's the book.
with the decorations. And like I said, you can do any shape. So uh, the flower, for example, I'll show you really quick. You just um, cut, take your scissors and you're gonna cut little petal shapes. And then again, all you do is ink the edges of these and use them, glue them around a circle. And that's, uh, that's how versatile these little pe pieces of papers can be. Well, I hope you like that little video. Hope it gives you some ideas on how to use up some scraps and how to build some quick, easy ephemera. And you can make, like I said, you can make the a lot of these. You can make tags, uh, journal inserts like this one where I just fold it in half and I wrote goals on it and shove it in my journal. All right, guys. Well, if you like this, uh, please subscribe and like uh, hit the like button and uh, notification button for more ideas. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a great day. Bye, guys.